So we've been over how to create your model in Blender. We've been over how to export that model as an MDL for use in P3D. Um, let's talk now about the next step, which is combining all the models that you've created, all the MDL files, into libraries that you can then use inside the sim for placement. Because um, there, there are two components, basically, to getting any model into uh, a visual spot in the simulator. One, you've got to have a file that contains the actual geometry, uh, which is the library file, where we combine all of our MDLs into a BGL file. And then we also have uh, a file that has the placement data for each of those models um, that is confusingly also a BGL, but structured very differently. And it has the uh, location and the GUID uh, of each instance of your MDL file as it's placed. So I thought the first thing we talk about here is how to create the libraries in the first place, which is really simple and straightforward. Um, there are two ways you can do it. Um, both involve XML files um, where you basically define your library, um, one of which is the manual way, which I used to do and, and have up until fairly recently, um, just because it was easy and I understood it and it was no big deal to do. The other is to use uh, a, a program that's available on sceneriedesign.org um, and also linked to on FS Developer um, called uh, Library Creator XML, which is one of Arno's fantastic tools for, for doing uh, P3D scenery design. Um, so let's go the manual way first, and I'll just give you an example. Um, what I've done, uh, and I do this every time I start a new project, I'll, I'll uh, create an empty library. This one's just called Sample Library opening it up in uh, Notepad++ here. And all it, all it really consists of is an XML header. Um, it has uh, an element called FS data, And all of these things are just wrote. These are always exactly the same in every library you create. Um, and then within that are the entries uh, called model data that uh, basically point it to the MDL files that you've exported. So this one is just uh, an empty model data tag, source file equals and uh, if I wanted to add in a building. So this is in the folder with my other MDLs. I'll just say like uh, Whitaker Tower MDL. And every time I want to add a new model, I just copy this line, um, paste it down, and uh, change the name of the MDL. There's no need to have the full path name to it if it's in the same folder, if your XML for the library is in the same folder as your MDLs are, which is what I tend to do just for organization's sake. Um, you can put a full path name, you know, drive and folders and all that here if you want to. Um, there's just no real reason to do it. So anyway, that's the manual way. And then uh, what I do, let me save that right quick. What I do to compile it, this is kind of a, a fun little trick that I learned a few years ago and has really sped things along. You need to run, you need to take this XML file and run it through a program called bglcomp.exe in order to turn it into uh, a library BGL file. And what I have started doing, since, you know, it's that, that's usually contained in the SDK, which is not the easiest thing in the world to find. Uh, it's a long path name. For P3D4, for instance, we've got, uh, it's in our C drive and program files, uh, Lockheed Martin, Prepare V4 SDK. This is actually the 4.4 SDK. Um, and it is under World, Scenery, and here's our uh, BGL comp here. Now, you could open this up every single time, this window, take your sample library and drop it onto this, and it will compile it. So we've created our sample library.bgl here. But an easier way to deal with it is um, to take the bglcom.exe, just create a shortcut for it. So let's just create a shortcut right quick. Sure, we'll put it on the desktop, Windows, whatever. And I'm going to rename my shortcut P3, p3dv4bgl. All right, and then back in my window here, I'm just going to click on the location bar and type in shell colon send to. And that takes us to the folder where we have all of our shortcuts here that we can, that show up in the send to menu. And I'm just going to basically move this here. So now in our send to menu, we've got P3D 
V4 BGL comp. And that points back to the SDK location of the EXE. Then in my uh, scenery project here, uh, Love Field Models, I can just right click on the sample library, hit send to, and send it to the P3D V4 BGL comp. And wherever you are on your system, all you have to do is right click on the XML, send to and that BGL comp, and it'll immediately compile it and keep it in the same folder as your uh, XML file. So that's one way. That's the manual way. Pretty simple. Even simpler, however, um, is to use this library creator XML from Arno. Let's create a new library and let's, uh, let's save it before we add anything to it. Click the browse button here and let's call this uh, sample library 2.bgl and hit save. You'll get this dialog box, but it's just telling you what it just did. It's not an error. Close that up. And then we will add some MDLs. So let's see. Let's add all of the MDLs here for downtown Dallas. Hit open. Takes a second. And there they are. And so now you can see information about each one. This is kind of nice because you can see at a glance what the GUID is, which is not something you can do when you do it the manual way. Um, where the path to the actual MDL is. And it doesn't have to be, uh, I think I've got it set right now to be, uh, yeah, with relative paths, but you can set it to absolute paths as well for the MDLs. Not a biggie. And then when you hit save, save library, it gives you, there's an option here. So you save the library BGL, which we set up. It also saves the XML file. Done. Just like that. And then if we go back into our models folder here, here's a little sample library 2.xml that we just created. Basically does the exact same thing you did uh, manually, but it does it automatically. It's just really easy to deal with. In the future, and this will come up um, as, we, uh, as we work on our downtown Dallas buildings, um, if you want to update your library with new models, um, what I suggest um, is that you just keep all your MDL files in the same folder as your library XML. And every time you've exported a new MDL, make sure it overwrites the old one, has the same file name and the same good. Um, and then just go back in here to your XML. Because even though we created this using Library Creator, we can just do the same trick of Send2 and the P3D4 BGL comp and it will uh, just update the file. And then you just copy this over into your project. Uh, in the actual P3D4 scenery folder. And you're good to go. So essentially, what we're going to do, I'm going to share with you uh, the placement file in the library uh, and the XML for that library um, for all of our downtown Dallas buildings. And we can, every time you make a change to your MDL, just export it to that same folder with that same name, right click and send to the BGL comp, and then just copy the library back over to your SIM project and you're good to go. Um, you'll be able to see the updated version of it showing up in P3D. So that's really all there is to creating the libraries.